the role they had played, the fact that they cared so much for each other, the fact that they were not bitter or upset with the U.S. even though we had basically abandoned them. I found this to be remarkable. They were looking to try to figure out what to do with their future. They wanted to take care of one another. They weren't just, how can I be helped to be first to leave for the United States? Or, uh, there was a sense of group solidarity. Um, and the Hmong and American personalities seem to naturally mesh. These uh, are two peoples who want to get a job done, who don't look for uh, the problems, but look to how to solve problems. They were problem-solving people. I think that's why we relied on them so heavily in the war. A problem would come up, the answer would be to look for a solution, not to sit there and say, well, we don't know how to do this. And very pragmatic, hard-working also, tremendously hard-working people. And uh, just the way they survived on the trek down from Laos showed you so much about that. So we knew that working hard in the United States was not going to be one of their problems. They were going to work hard. So for all those reasons, they uh, became very special to me and to so many of us who had the privilege of working with them.